Like anything else, whether it's barbecue or cooking anything, you gotta start with the best ingredients. We do everything fresh. The meat coverage is specced. Our animals are humanely treated. We're using the top two thirds choice. We can pay less for everything that we do, but, but why? So it's simple, but it's high ingredients. So great ingredients, treated with respect, patience and care, that's our meat. Okay, the perfect brisket. Again, I've always said brisket is the only piece of meat that's ever made me lose sleep. <laughs> I've never lost sleep over any other piece of meat but brisket. So what is perfect brisket? Let's see. It's got that perfect mahogany. It's not too dark, it's not too light. It's, it's a mahogany. You can almost see it before you touch it. There's a certain look and a certain jiggle of a perfectly cooked brisket. It should be able to slice real easy. That knife should just go right through it. It's got that smoky essence. It's got a great rub, so it's got spice, and then just big beef flavor. I feel our barbecue can stand up without sauce, but I like the extra little layer of flavor. You know, like you bite into our rib, you should taste a little bit of smoke, a little bit of spice, a little bit of sauce, and then the pure pork flavor. So when you bite into it, it just tastes good because all four of those elements are coming together in one bite. What we're looking for in a perfect rib is that right there, where you can pull that meat off, get the peels right off. I wanna see them bones look like they've been boiled. It amazed me how few options you had as a side dish. Back in traditional barbecue places, you got your beans, coleslaw, maybe potato salad. So I wanted to combine barbecue with meat and three, so you had the 12 different homemade side dishes. And what I love about food in general, it's very honest. There's no two moments of doneness that are the same in barbecue, so every one of them has to be judged. And uh, without the judgment, you can get up to that point, and one person may have good barbecue, the next person may have tight barbecue. But caring is the secret ingredient to barbecue. It really is, and any cooking, actually. Give me a, give me a chef that gives a shit, that's gonna be good food.